The individual mandate may be the most unpopular part of the Affordable Care Act. And as a consequence, Republicans are against it and want to repeal it. But if we're going to get everyone into the insurance pool, if we're going to get coverage for everyone, we need to have some mechanism to persuade people, especially healthy people, to buy insurance. Otherwise, healthy people don't buy insurance. The consequence is only sick people buy insurance. Premiums go up. People stop buying insurance and the marketplace falls apart. How do we get everyone in and buying insurance? Well, we need a requirement. And there are only four ways of doing that. One is what's done in the Affordable Care Act, have a mandate, require everyone to have insurance. And if you don't have insurance, you have to pay a financial penalty. A second way of doing it is to say that you need continuous coverage. You have to have insurance continuously. If you have too long a break in your insurance coverage, you will be assessed a penalty or not be able to buy insurance. A third way is to say that you have to have insurance. And if you don't have insurance, when you want to go in and buy insurance, say because you're sick or you're going to deliver a baby, you're penalized because your premiums have gone up substantially. And the last way is to not use a stick, not to use a penalty, but to use a carrot and say, well, we're going to give basic insurance, a minimal package to everyone, and then they can either opt out and pay a penalty, or they can increase the services and use their own money to buy additional services. Now, we use this higher premium mechanism in Medicare Part D. Actually, if you don't buy Medicare Part D, the drug benefit initially, you wait for three, four years before you buy it, you pay a higher premium for the rest of your life. We use the mechanism of giving everyone a basic benefit um, and allowing them to buy up in Medicare, where you get the hospital benefit, Part A, and you can supplement that with Medigap coverage. It is the case that uh, continuous coverage and paying a higher premium if you don't initially buy health insurance don't work perfectly. They don't get everyone to buy insurance, including the healthy people. Even in Medicare Part D, the drug benefit, where most Medicare patients are going to use drugs, um, about 20% of people do not buy Medicare Part D when they are eligible. So we do need some mechanism to get everyone to buy insurance and keep the premiums low, get the healthy people as well as the sick people to buy insurance. And there are only four mechanisms to do it. A mandate, continuous coverage, higher premiums if you don't buy insurance, or give everyone sort of what's called auto-enrollment, a basic benefits package. Um, we're going to have to pick one of the four. If you don't like a mandate, you have to try other ideas. We should also remember that the individual mandate, as disliked as it is, was originally a Republican idea, not a Democratic idea. Democrats like the employer mandate, but Republicans like to put the responsibility on individuals. Only when it proved unpopular did Republicans decide that they didn't like the individual mandate.